What's going on guys? Ben Gligan here coming back at you with another video currently live on Twitch. If you guys missed the Twitch live stream of this, it's very disappointing for me because we're going to have a great time. As I say this, we're just getting things started. You guys can see the followers rolling. If you guys aren't following, make sure to follow. But Giants franchise, we just beat the Jacksonville Jaguars in the Super Bowl. A couple things I want to say really quickly because I know people are going to skip through. Listen to the intro. The people were saying the sliders were way too easy. Here's why that was the case, right? All that dinging is really going to annoy me. I think I have desktop audio muted, so you guys can't hear it, but it'll be popping up. Um, around the beginning of the season for Season 2, I didn't change the sliders. Madden 19 came out with a title update that made all of my sliders not play the same as they did or how I would have wanted uh, earlier on. So, when you saw some of the easier games, this was not my intent, right? Because I don't want to finally get to the Super Bowl and the playoffs and then have easy games. I want to make it, you know, exciting. And I want it to have, like, you know, the culmination of an entire season, not destroy the Jaguars 48-13, to where they scored a garbage time, ridiculous streak touchdown. Um, so, I didn't want that to happen. We're going to be doing a slider revamp for season three what i will say is i got a comment and you guys know me i'm one of the only people you'll see just absolutely put the comment section on blast but we got a comment here um from a guy we're not going to say his name there's no reason to uh it says just a personal thing but this series is just so unrealistic i just can't enjoy it anymore oh, st stab in the heart congrats on your super bowl but it's not interesting anymore to watch you win every game by 30 plus every episode. Good luck in the future with this, with an exclamation point. Kind of like a passive aggressive, I'm out of here comment, which was a little annoying. Whatever. So if we look at the team schedule, uh, we should be able to see the postseason. So let's let's go ahead and count the games we won by 30. Of course, in the Eagles game, there was a crash. You guys know the story of that. So it will say played twice. I played it once. You guys saw it in the video. Um, so 48 to 13. So that is 30 points or more. So that's fair. 34 to 20, not 30 points. Falcons, not 30 points. Regular season. Uh, not 30 points, not 30 points. That's, that's the second one. 45 to 3 over the 70 overall bills. So that's, that's fair. Not 30 points, not 30 points, not 30 points, not 30 points. Uh, not 30 points, not 30 points, not 30 points. Not 30 points, not 30 points, not 30 points. Lost by 22, not 30 points, not 30 points. Now, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. All right, whatever, whatever. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to change the sliders anyway. I do agree that I wish the Super Bowl would have been a little bit more um, of a climactic moment. But now that we've got that out of the way, maybe he'll come back for the series. Who knows? Ooh, I'm going to count my lucky stars. So... We'll check out the stats if you guys didn't see the episode where we broke that down. I believe that was the divisional round of the playoffs. It may not have been. Kyle Aletta, 4,000 yards passing, 28 touchdowns, 20 interceptions, 62% uh, completion percentage. So, people were talking a lot of shit about Kyle Aletta, saying how bad he was in overall. He's only 77, I get that. But if we can actually see his like accuracy, those generally aren't bad. 87 short 89 medium 82 deep so he can make some throws 92 throw power just his overall is a little bit lower so overall doesn't mean in-game ability let's just get that out of the way but he had an okay season interceptions is too high i i want to stop doing that saquon was unbelievable in the regular season after the title update 2142 yards breaking the record for rushing yards in the season 18 touchdowns little ridiculous we toned it down. Saquon was very, very bad in the postseason. He was a non-factor. It was upsetting to me. Kyle Aletta rushed for a touchdown, 6.4 per carry. Wayne Gallman was all right. Receiving, Odell, 1,200 yards, 13 touchdowns. Great season for him. Sterling Shepard, 68 catches, 6 touchdowns, 932 yards for him. The rookie, Howard Russell, was pretty good. I want to get him more involved. If we go ahead and check out his stats, he's a playmaker. Good speed. Phenomenal, spectacular catch. Good catch in traffic, good short route running, good release, things like that. Uh, we just got to work on deep route running, and he's going to be a very, very good player. But I eventually will see him replacing Sterling Shepard as that number two and moving Sterling Shepard. Even though he's very good, he's an 87 overall. 
he's probably going to be relegated to the slot. I just feel like as a 5'10 receiver, he's going to work out a lot better there. Evan Ingram was pretty good. Four touchdowns, 600 yards. Wasn't the focal point of our offense. Saquon Barkley uh, got more involved in the passing game down the line. Blocking, as far as sacks goes, Eric Faison was not great. Trent Brown was honestly pretty disappointing. But the rest of the offensive line performed pretty well. And then defensively, uh, BJ Goodson, I believe, won something or other. BJ Goodson won... It doesn't show me. He won something. He might have won Defensive Player of the Year. His numbers were ridiculous because I usured him. I imagine Lorenzo Carter's numbers are going to be pretty great. Uh, the thing with the usering of the linebacker is I know I'm very good at it, and I hate to just pat myself on the back like that, but clearly I'm pretty good at it to the point of where I'm changing the games, and that's why Khalif 1234 with the Twitch Prime sub. That's why, thank you by the way, uh, that's why some of the games in the playoffs looked so easy because even though the CPU players weren't making any plays at all, if I can user a player to force a fumble or get an interception, it can totally change the pace of the game. I feel like I have to do it to keep myself in some of these games. So I can't, I can't not, I can't just watch the game. It's, it's not, it's, I don't want to do my franchise that way. As far as sacks goes, uh, we finally got natural pressure near the end. Roman Pugh, 11 sacks as a rookie. Great season for him, 10 and a half for OV who people want gone for some reason. I mean, he's 29 now. Did he regress at all? He might. He might end up regressing as we advance the offseason. But that was pretty much it for the defense. You guys saw sacks. Interceptions. Nothing too crazy from the apart from the usering. Junior Jenkins, 5. LC with 4. The rookie Morris Dubose with 3. Nothing insane. But it is time for the offseason. It is time. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on. I will say that apart from the scouting, we we will have a lot of uh, picks near the top. I plan on trading back from those spots because I, I do want it to be somewhat realistic, and I, four first-round picks is too many. Teams have taken three. You look at the Vikings in 2011. Cordero Patterson, Sharif Floyd, uh, and... Who was the other one? Xavier Rhodes. Those were the three, I'm pretty sure. Was that 2011? Might have been. It doesn't really matter. 2013 could have been. It does. It, again, it doesn't matter. Four is too many, though. We're going to upgrade players before we do anything else. We got Odell, Lennon Collins. We'll go down the list. And it, he didn't really play at all, but we had Dominique Easley on the team. He just really never got in the game. And I love Dominique Easley at Florida. He was a beast before getting injured, like, twice. He tore his ACL. Uh, but he was a beast. Didn't play for us the entire season, really. So we'll see what happens with that. Odell, probably going to be, what, deep threat? Deep route running up? Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, so that takes him up to a 99 overall with confidence. Deep route running plus three. So he is going to have 98 deep route running. Pretty good. Landon Collins, it's going to be zone, right? It's got to be. He's at 92 right now. But let's try to get that even higher. He goes up to a 97 overall and plus one speed so we don't get zone coverage but we get better speed on landon collins that's pretty good 89 not bad roman pew i did power rusher a lot but he's up to 96 power move i mean it's pretty ridiculous how he, i mean i need more than 11 sacks i need like 15 with those numbers we're gonna go into run stopper doesn't move his overall up as johnson 764 with the twitch prime sub i appreciate you buddy uh, also, thank you guys. Over 500 viewers in the stream. That's pretty awesome. Roman Pugh up to 80 block shed with confidence. The rookie cornerback out of Nebraska, Morris Dubose. I've decided we're totally going into zone, which is higher with confidence right now. It's going to probably uh, overtake man to man, and we're going to maybe change the defensive system around a little bit. Show me zone. Plus one to zone coverage is a little weak. Um, he is now tied. I was hoping to be like plus two as we got fat guy hat. And then a Cliffo, 88 with the Twitch Prime sub. Both of you guys back to back. Thank you so much. We got Will Hernandez as well. Power now fits the scheme. He goes up to an 87 overall. His numbers are pretty good. His numbers are pretty good. That really didn't impact much, to be fair. A little annoying on that one. Lorenzo Carter was a beast of an outside linebacker. Speed rusher no really uh, no longer matters to me. So I think we will probably just go with run stopper. 
It does fit the scheme. It doesn't boost his overall, unfortunately. The next skill point probably will. Plus two awareness, block shed, tackle. It's going to make him a little bit better. And he, now he does fit the scheme. Logan Robeson. I feel like upgrading power isn't too good for him, even though it would fit the scheme. We need to focus on run blocking for him. And I guess power would probably be the best one for that. So we are going to go into power here. Doesn't boost his overall at all. But we do get run block power and then run block up to an 80 now so that's not bad and then dominique easily didn't really play he doesn't matter he's probably not going to stay on the team if i'm being honest so plus one power moves there's a better dn and free just to get rid of ob oh olivier vernon's good dude <laughs> olivier vernon's good what's going on tay olivier vernon he is 29 so i don't love that but olivier vernon's an 88 overall 91 power move, 84 block shed, 81 speed. He's like on the same level as Roman Pugh. He has better speed, worse power move, better block shed. I mean, he's a good defensive end. As for players we have to re-sign, Riley Dixon's here. Dominique Easley, Justin Hardy, Tracy Wallace. Where is Riley Dixon? All the way over here. Do we want Riley Dixon? I don't think I do. Jarrell Adams, I probably would like to keep. Let's give him a two-year deal worth 850. Well, 1.6 overall. Jarrell Adams is going to resign. Andrew Adams can go. I don't feel like retaining Riley Dixon. Moses Christian is a guy that played okay on special teams. But I don't really like what he brings to the table, so we're going to get rid of him probably. Well, definitely. Nate Benson, there's no need for you. Sean Erickson was a disaster, so he's going to go. Um, hmm. These cornerbacks are just too slow. I don't like that. Tracy Wallace is a receiver. There's no real reason to have you. Justin Hardy, I like, but he is 28. There's no real reason to have him. And then Dominique Easley. Dominique Easley, I think, is good. But... I'm not sure I'm willing to offer him like anything over 1.5 a year. So I give him a three-year deal worth like 1.5 per year, 750 signing bonus. And that is going to be um, accepted. So Dominique Easley is going to stay a New York Giant. We'll see if he actually sees the field this year. We had him on the roster, I believe, like the entire year. He just didn't play at all. Which is all right. Gray Rats with the Twitch Prime sub two months in a row. Thank you, buddy. Our entire linebacking core is a scheme fit now in 4-6. I'm, I'm sure that's going to change if I change uh, what we're actually rocking out with the 4-6 defense. But we will advance to free agency. A very fun time of the year. We have some money. We have a lot of money to spend. Amari Cooper is in free agency. I have no interest in Amari Cooper. We also have Derrick Henry, Devin McCourty, Nelson Aguilar, Giovanni Bernard, Philip Rivers. Interesting. I have no real interest in any of these guys. Devin McCourty's 33. What is your speed? 88 maybe it'd be down to? 87. 86 zone. He's just not particularly good. Nelson Aguilar I don't care for. Our receiving core is set. Now Jalen Mills is an interesting one. We would be stealing him from the Philadelphia Eagles. He's only 26. He would fit the scheme. What's your zone coverage, Jalen Mills? 83. Huh. Janoris Jenkins is a point. He's at a point where he's regressing, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, he wouldn't want that much either. What if I offered you a five-year deal? Small, small contract. If he accepts, he accepts. If he doesn't, nothing bad. It's going to be 28.4 over five, which is 80 total points, which puts us in the lead because we're the only team going after him. So Jalen Mills is good. This would be a good signing for us. Not that expensive. Long-term deal. Replaces Janoris Jenkins over the long term, who, I'm going to be honest, if you guys saw the Super Bowl, which I hope you would have, and Vernon Hargraves is there. Hold on. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. 
if you guys saw the Super Bowl, Janoris Jenkins got absolutely torched by some random drafted cornerback by the Jaguars. Vernon Hargraves, 25. I loved him at Florida. He is bad, so no. I'm not going <laughs> to... I can't do that. I just can't. I just can't. So, interesting. I, if we got him... I also do want to go to coaching whatever right now and spend some coach XP. Master trade negotiator wouldn't be the worst. I'm actually probably going to hold on to it because wide receiver, I'm fine with. Tight end doesn't matter. Running back doesn't matter. QB might eventually matter. Maybe we could do even master trade negotiator. Because we could make this a pretty big offseason. We'll have to see. Where's scouting? Is scouting on auto? If scouting's on auto. That's not good for me. It's on manual. It just didn't pop up in that week. All right. I see some people saying Derrick Henry. Why? Why would we get Derrick Henry? Out of curiosity. We have Wayne Gallman. We have Saquon Barkley. That's a pretty good one-two punch. And uh, Derrick Henry, like, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he would be a goal line back. He would be a goal line back. Derrick Henry, 90 break tackle, 89 speed, 91 trucking. Let's go ahead and look at Saquon Barkley. Let's look at Saquon Barkley. Saquon has 93 speed, 93 trucking, 93 break tackle. So he's faster, he's stronger, 84 strength. He can truck better. He can break tackles better. When would we ever realistically give the ball to Derrick Henry? We just wouldn't. Derrick Henry has plus two strength. I mean, there's just no reason. And then I see Derrick Henry at fullback. I want a fullback that can block. Speaking of position changes, DeMar Jacobs, you play tight end now. That's what's going to happen. We drafted him out of South Carolina. Go Cox. And he has good size. He's an 83 overall tight end. And he fits the scheme. Now, his blocking isn't fantastic, but it's not terrible. It's a 61 which might be higher than Evan Ingram, if we're being honest. That might be higher. It is. It's higher by one. So, DeMar Jacobs blocks about as well as Evan Ingram. And he is good speed. He's got phenomenal height at six foot five. He's a good tight end. So, he plays tight end now. Rhett Ellison will be moved to fullback, but I probably would rather replace him with a better fullback. So, I don't really care for that. Jalen Mills has not signed. Who's also pursuing Jalen Mills? It's still only us. That's interesting. Austin Eckler's here. Austin Eckler is a player I might have interest in. I know you are no Derrick Henry, but Austin Eckler? 92 speed. 88 break tackle. What's your catching? 69 catching? Nice. Mm, I think we can do better. We can do better either in the draft or elsewhere. Not going to go out of my way to get him. Appreciate you guys being here, by the way. If you're not following, definitely follow. So you can be followed. That's pretty much how that goes. So Jalen Mills has accepted our offer. Jalen Mills is the newest member of the New York Giants. We have stolen him from the... Philadelphia Eagles, division rival. He's got to dye his hair blue. That's got to be a thing. <laughs> Interesting. We we didn't get him for very much at all. I find that odd that no team would want a 26-year-old, 85 overall cornerback. Had two picks last year. His contract, it's a five-year deal. The cap hits 4.12. He's really not getting that much. Very odd. We do need a punter. I'm fine on that for right now. So if we go into the draft, we have a lot of top picks. We have the 7th, the 8th, the 11th, and the 32nd. I'm going to be trading back from some of those to get more mid-round picks to even it out. Don't worry. Do not worry about that. These are the players we've been looking out. Ooh, don't be skipping the combine on me in the top 10. Another Penn State running back I couldn't I couldn't take one in the first round 
Let's not be ridiculous. Let's not be ridiculous. That would be a little bit wild. Tyree Dutka out of Wisconsin looks pretty damn good. Let's go to safety. So Michael Haynes we looked at a lot out of Minnesota. 4-6 speed. He looks pretty good though. He looked pretty good. As far as free safeties go, I like Julius Manning a lot. Show me good speed. 4-5. Four, 4-4 four, four flat. Wow, out of Texas too. You guys know I like that. Also, 700 plus people. God dang. Also, I know a lot of people want me to look at quarterback. The quarterback class is uninspiring, to say the least. It is uninspiring. So when Kyle Aletta would be better than any quarterback we take here, I'm not exactly itching to draft a quarterback. This is not a good quarterback class. I will say that. Halfback, we're going to watch Kershaw in case he drops. Fullback, I do want to look at fullbacks. They're all undrafted. I don't want to look at fullbacks anymore. Dixon Donaldson out of Clemson doesn't look particularly good. I don't know. These, uh, these receivers don't look particularly good either. I know we're kind of flying through points. I've done a lot of scouting already. So it doesn't really matter too much at this point um, where we waste points. Receiver, we have three good ones for sure. And then, I, I don't know, McKay can be upgraded upon. We could draft a, a receiver. We could. So Julius Manning looks very good. He's on the watch list. As far as cornerbacks go, we have Donald Carr out of Alabama. Donald Carr ran a 4-5. So it's okay speed. He's very agile, 5-11. Good coverage overall. Don't love him. He's pretty good, though. Rayshon Hickman looks like he could be good. 4 5 8 speed is too slow. He looks like a safety. He looks like a good safety. Rayshon Hickman out of Wisconsin. 4 5 8 speed. Good on the bench press. Not an incredible athlete, but he's got great top three skills. Wendell Knox, 4 6 1, dude. How are all these cornerbacks so slow? I don't like that. Mike Purnell looks pretty good out of LSU. 4-8 speed. You are kidding me. 4-8-8 speed. What is going on? Alexander Espinoza. 4-5-9 speed. That's what I'm talking about. Great vertical. Great broad. Pretty good 3-cone and 20-yard shuttle. Great bench press. Phenomenal top 3 skills. This is the player that won the Heisman Trophy at Wisconsin. The only defensive player since Charles Woodson and ever before. Only two to ever do it. That's that's true. It was in the stories. So, Alexander Espinosa is on the watch list. Left outside linebacker. Stefan Gillisley is not tremendously fast. I don't love him. Defensive tackle. Lawrence Thomas looks like he's a monster at Nebraska. Very strong. Not the fastest, but he's good. He is a good player. And we could potentially... We got to replace Damon Harrison at some point. I'm not sure when that will be. But it's something I'm thinking about. So, that's a thing. Goodson and Espinosa sounds like a good cop, good cop, bad cop combo. That's true. You are not wrong about that. You are not wrong. So, let's go back to the defensive line here. Because, I mean, we could be looking... We could be looking at this for sure. Henry Gandy, show me good speed. Five. We're going to watch him anyway. He's a good fourth-round player for sure. He looks like he could be a beast. Ooh. Not a lot of late-round gems at defensive tackle. I will tell you that. We are almost to the draft, ladies and gentlemen. It is draft time. As far as uh, free agency goes, we are going to check the recap. LaShawn McCoy is still a free agent, as is Emmanuel Sanders, as is Aqib Tlaib. Will Lutz is here. Harrison Butker is here. Interesting. League signings. Amari Cooper to the Baltimore Ravens. The wheels are like that. Derrick Henry goes to the Jets. Devin McCourty to the Oakland Raiders. Nelson Aguilar to the Cards. Gio Bernard back to the Bengals on an apparent monster deal. Philip Rivers goes to the New England Patriots. Matthew Ioannidis to the Packers. 
Chris Harris to the new Legion of Boom. This 31-year-old cornerback. Not bad. Austin Hooper to the Cowboys. Austin Eckler to the Lions. He does feel like a Detroit Lion. Trey Waynes to the Broncos. Drew Brees re-signs with the Saints. I didn't even know he was in here. Chris Thompson to the Titans. Tavon Young to the Bucks. Shaq Thompson to the Colts. Robert Alford to another bird team. This time the Cardinals, not the Falcons. Quinton Dunbar to the Dolphins. Keelan Cole to the Pats. Jachavis Brown goes to the Cardinals. David Onyemata to the Jets. David Amerson to the Raiders. Welcome back. Corey Coleman to the Cowboys. Alex Okafor to the Bucks. We'll only check a couple more here. If you guys are curious, these are where the rest. Nick Foles to the Cardinals. Interesting. Sam Bradford to the Saints. Noah Spence is a player I looked at. Wish I could see his uh, his numbers. I may have actually considered signing him if I knew that. But it is time for the draft. As I said, you guys, we're going to be trading down a little bit because I don't want to have four first-round picks. Even though we traded down and, and traded players to get them, I don't want to have four first-round picks. I just don't. I don't think it's good for the series. That being said, there are some can't-miss players here for me. And we pick at 7 and 8. Lawrence Thomas, Alexander Espinoza are very, very good players. We should be able to get at least one. I'm not confident that we will be able to. First pick to the Jets is Harlos Bennett, a right outside linebacker out of Alabama. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Tyree Dutka goes to the Bucks. They take a left tackle. The Colts answer with Tyler Coffey, a linebacker out of LSU. I don't I don't want I don't want Alexander Espinoza and Lawrence Thomas to go off the I want one of them for sure. We could trade up. Hold on. Let's let's see what's going on with the Seahawks. Let's see what they're up to. We're just gonna check. So they have Bobby Wagner, they have Earl Thomas, who's an 89. I thought about going after him, but he's 31. I just don't really want that. They have the fourth pick. We, we pick 7, 8, and 11. I'm going to look to trade 32. 32, maybe. And... It's going to have to be a player. So, fullback, we don't have anything. Right tackle... I would move on from Eric Faison if they're interested. What would this do for them? Interesting. Eric Faison was not great. We were looking to replace him anyway. I would be down to replace Eric Faison. And we are going to. Eric Faison and a first round pick. Number 32 overall for the number four overall pick. From the Seattle Seahawks, if you guys are spamming, pause the draft in the chat. You're uh, pretty fucking stupid. I didn't mean to say that. So, I am going to take the best player on the board, in my opinion. Alexander Espinoza out of Wisconsin. 29. Uh, where did I get 29 from? 21 years old. Phenomenal top three skills. Phenomenal combine. Alexander Espinoza is ranked number eight in the class. We took him at number four. You are not going to wear number 40 on my team. Superstar development is incredible. Show me the stats. 85 speed, 84 tackle, 87 block shed, 86 hit power, 94 pursuit, 80 acceleration, 80 strength, 76 zone coverage. Good man as well. Good power move. Alexander Espinoza was a can't-miss prospect. Of course, we did not miss on him. 80 overall superstar dev. Incredible player. Great pick. We're off to a hot start for Alexander Espinoza. Number five, Othniel Curry out of Oregon. Who would the Dolphins take? Hopefully not a defensive tackle. And if they do, hopefully it's Kruger. The Dolphins go Kenny Kruger. They go Kenny Kruger out of Clemson. So if we wanted to... We could take our player here in Lawrence Thomas. 
eventual replacement for Damon Harrison. And I'm going to do just that. Lawrence Thomas out of Nebraska. 80 overall, quick development. I'll take that. He's ranked at number seven. We took him, I believe, at number seven. 89 strength, 81 block shed, 86 power move. 70 speed as well is not actually that bad. 73 finesse move, 81 tackle, 79 acceleration, 79 hit power, 98 injury, all right. 82 pursuit, 85 stamina. Lawrence Thomas is very, very good as well. So he won't necessarily have to start right away, but he is a very solid player. Not bad at all. Glad we took him there at that pick. And I think now is the time where we're going to trade down. We're going to trade down from eight. What's here? What what really would we be, would we be looking at? Um, I'm not going to take the running back. I don't really like anything else in this range. And I'm going to tell you for a fact, a player I am not going to miss out on is Julius Manning out of Texas. He is, he is going to be drafted. So we're going to trade down. Question is, what could we get for the pick? We're in the 2020 draft. The Bengals are offering a two, a three, and a future three. Seattle's offering the pick I just gave them. Plus, hey, what about a sixth? Uh, no. Saints are offering the same trade to the Bengals, just with their uh, picks. Oakland trade is not very good. Cleveland's offering me a two, a three, and a four. All this year. All good picks. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that. So... Also, we get a donation coming in here. War Tag for the win. Donated 250. Says, uh, knock, knock. Are you seriously watching porn all by yourself? Uh, yeah. Usually, I don't have a crowd. I don't know. I don't know about you. Let's see. Um, I know we don't pick for a little while now. Well, we do, but 11. Now we have some mid-round picks. We had some value in the fourth round. Pone Gardner. It's a great name. Got to give him that. There are some decent players. For sure. Um, so, let's go ahead and simulate to pick number 11. Brady Haskins out of Florida goes. And we're going to trade down this pick as well. If I can get a mid-round first, that'd be ideal. Why would I do this? Why would I trade down from 11 with the Seahawks to just get their second? That's it? Are you out of your mind? We might have to do something manual here. Or or we could get fancy. I might want to get fancy. I'm not sure. Hmm. Now, the Redskins are in the market for some linebackers. Well, what we need might be uh, an edge rusher over Olivier Vernon. Ellis offered was not tremendous. We do have Antoine Todd, who I think is pretty good. We have Lorenzo Carter. We have a good linebacking group. I'm not a huge fan of Ellis offered. Now I'm just I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna see what this would do. So we don't, we can't do it because of the cap room, because uh, of Khalil Mack. So, we can't trade for him. We just can't. We can't. So, can't do that. But we do need... We do need offensive line help. If you guys didn't know. We have a decent left tackle. Uh, but on the right side, we have essentially nothing. Right guard is all right. Not tremendous. I would love a young tackle who fits the scheme. What scheme do we have for... So, we're looking for a pass protector. Is that what I'm looking for? I think we're looking for a pass protector right tackle. Now, who would fit that bill? Doesn't really matter. Because we just go with, like, a best one available if we, if we did want to make a trade. Jordan Mills, no. It should show in the top right as well or of their player so as you guys can see on the right there scheme fit for Bulaga I don't want Brian Bulaga 
Daryl Williams would fit. Daryl Williams is good. Colton Miller, no. Stephen Moore is terrible. Morgan Moses would fit. Ryan Rampcheck. We might have our guy there. Ryan Rampcheck might be the guy. Oh, here's the entire NFL. I might... Hold on. Who run blocks well here? Ryan Ramchek run blocks well as well. Star development, 26 years old. We would probably play... He looks like the devil. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> what do the Saints want for him? He might not be easy to trade for. Center, left outside linebacker. We do have one of those. Right outside linebacker, middle linebacker. What about... What about the 11th overall pick for Ryan Ramchek? They're not super interested in that. Uh, what if we added Ellis Offord to the mix? We, we drafted Espinoza. He's not necessarily valuable anymore. So that actually has some decent interest on it. What if we added a four? It's going to have to be a higher pick. It would have to be probably a third plus a four. It might even be higher. Hold on. Ellis offered a three and a four. We'll not get it done. I don't want to offer the second. What if I could, what if I offered a first and got a first in return? That probably wouldn't work. We would be dropping back. Mm, they don't really like that. They don't really like that that much. I would throw in a three. Mm, okay. I want to improve the offensive line. Marshawn Lattimore would be sick. Something tells me we're not going to be able to acquire him. I think Ra Ryan Ramchek is attainable. Hold on. Let's. What if we did something like this? Where we traded down from 11. Stay with me here. This won't go through. I'm just curious to see how far we go. Traded down from 11 to get a mid-first. Or a, a kind of a late first at this point. I don't like Ellis Offered. I'm going to be honest. So basically this trade would be Ellis Offered for a two. Which is where we took him anyway. Could we get a future two out of it? Ooh, we get a future three, though. Can we not? I don't think I could get a current four. Oh, it's going to be accepted, actually. Okay. So, we're trading down from 11 to pick up a second round pick and a fourth round pick, as well as the 24th overall pick that's the trade down from 11 to 24 picking up a two and a four for ellis offered just because we don't need him anymore uh and he wasn't particularly huge for us he, he had an interception in the uh, super bowl which does sound big but the game was over at that point so it doesn't really matter ellis offered is off the team and that's where we are right now i'm going to simulate to 24 as the Saints pick somebody, maybe. There goes Noah Olsen at Indiana State. And with this pick in the first round, I am reaching. And Carlos Kershaw is still available. He's going to stay on the board because we're taking a safety. Julius Manning out of Texas. 5'11", 4'4", flat speed. Great vertical. He's decently strong, agile. Great top three skills. We don't know about his zone coverage. He is a run support style player. So his zone coverage could be really bad. But here he is, Julius Manning. Ranked number 12 in the class. It's not a reach. This is 24 overall. 
79 overall quick development numbers will be changed he also will not wear 40 they gave that to alexander espinoza so i wonder what they're gonna actually give his number he has 91 speed 72 zone is pretty low 87 tackle 87 pursuit 72 man 91 acceleration 78 block shed that's pretty ridiculous for a safety 89 hit power as well he's basically landon collins without the zone coverage right now he's basically landon collins when he came into the nfl that's what that's what we're looking at here so he's a good player uh but you know you got to get that zone coverage up to be a, an actual viable player for us as we simulate to about the middle of the second round as jamel deloach out of utah goes to the panthers replacing Shaq nelson carlos kershaw still on the board he skipped the combine penn state oh this would this is good value for the pick If there was ever good value for the pick, this would be it. We have two sides. There's no reason not to, dude. There's no reason not to. He'd be a backup running back. It's a second-round pick for a first-round talent player that fits the scheme. We're going to take him. Carlos Kershaw, baller. 78 overall ranked number 16 in the class we took him in the middle of the second round also shocker wearing number 40 quick development says hey roger goodell screw the combine i'm not doing it 6'2, 236 87 speed 84 trucking 84 brake tackle 86 agility 89 stiff arm decent catching good pass block 70 pass block that's pretty good he's all right i mean he's a uh you know mid first round guy that we got in the second round so i mean it's not bad but he's not going to start he's going to be a a situational player as who's mitchell with the twitch prime sub thank you very much for subscribing we're going to simulate to our pick here late in the second round what do we want what do we want for this um i'm thinking about trading this there's rashad nolan doesn't look that good so, are there any second round? There are no real second round players. Is there anyone in the third that I need to get for sure? So, Walker Patman at a UAB is okay. We wouldn't necessarily need him. Pone Gardner would play right guard. Pone Gardner looks pretty good. He's a fourth round player that we could take him in the third. I'm trading out of this for sure. I'm trading out of this pick. I wonder if the Saints are interested in doing business again, honestly. Hey, Saints. What do you want for uh, Ryan Ramchak? How about just a second round pick? Hmm. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> hmm. We're not going to be able to get Ryan Rand. I'm going to try and trade this down for... Uh, who's bad? The Bengals are bad. Who's our QB? Andy Dalton still? Oh, wow. He's terrible. Uh, all right. Can I get a first-round pick next year? Almost certainly not. I would do a second-round pick next year. I, there's no one I like in this range. Hopefully, I can do that just straight up. No? Okay. Hold on. QB. Take Davis Webb. Just have him. Davis Webb is leaving. We're trading a two in Davis Webb to get a better second round pick next year. It is what it is. Also, 10 buck donation. Joe Gusky said, keep up the grind, Bengal. Thank you very much, Joe, for the $10 at Hala. As you're going to simulate now into the third round. And probably take that guard. Parrish Tate out of Baylor goes. Rashad Nolan still on the board. Don't really want Walker Patman at this range. We're going to take Pone Gardner out of Rutgers. Good bench press. Speed is okay. He's got good top three skills. Speed isn't bad, actually. 338, 6'6. Six, six. Speed's pretty damn good. Good top three skills as well. Welcome to the team, Pone. 77 overall, ranked number 25 in the class. Of course, this is a third-round pick that fits the scheme. He's got the double arm brace with the wrist tape to the gloves. 
it's an interesting look. I, I'm all right with it. <laughs> Ranked number 25 in the class, first round player, obviously first round talent, I should say. So he's a good player for sure. As we're going to simulate now into the fourth round. The reason it always says reach is because it's a glitch. It's a graphical glitch that EA has not fixed yet. Fourth round players. Wendell Knox is still here. The defensive tackle that I was looking for is gone. But Wendell Knox is here. He looks like excellent value for uh, the fourth round. So we're going to take him. 73 overall, ranked number 98. We did not take him number one overall, obviously. He has 86 speed, 79 man, 80 zone. 77 press. He's, he's all right. 73 is a decent value for the fourth round. But he's nothing crazy, obviously. I think we're going to come back with a quarterback. It's going to be Thomas Farmer out of Delaware State. He's slow as the day is long, but he can jump high. Thomas Farmer, 72 overall. Strong arm quarterback. He has 87 throw power, so he's not that strong arm. 77 deep, 84 medium, 86 short throw accuracy. Not terrible. He is like Kyle Aletta if Kyle Aletta was uh, paralyzed and had a worse arm. But he's a backup, so doesn't really matter. He should not ever play. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, as long as Kyle stays healthy. I know a lot of people want to see Kyle Aletta replaced. But at the end of the day, Kyle Aletta is definitely our best option. So we don't really need a safety at this point. 4-4-9 speed is hard to pass up on. We're going to take him. Tyrus Charlton out, uh, Charlton out of Ole Miss. 6 foot 3. Uh, okay, top 3 skills. This is going to be a purely special teams player. 75 overall, really. Ranked number 51 in the class for Tyrus Charlton. 88 speed, 77 zone, 85 hit power, 80 tackle, 79 pursuit, 88 excel. What the hell? Yo, he's actually pretty good. He's actually pretty good. He's going to be a special teams beast, hopefully. He's better than I thought he would be. Um, injuries are on. I did not resign quarterback. What is it, DeAndre Nails? I don't, I don't, I don't believe he was resigned. He's probably in free agency. We could look to pick him up. We're kind of lacking on quarterback depth at the moment after trading Davis Webb, even with drafting uh, Thomas Farmer. And we do actually have the last pick in the draft. We won the Super Bowl. So, Mr. Irrelevant. Who is that going to be? Who is Mr. Irre Irrelevant? We don't have the punters scouted, but... Kendall Newfield out of Texas... Pretty good combine for him. We're going to take a punter. 73 overall. And I can't see the rest of them. So, Mr. Irrelevant is a punter. And that is Kendall Newfield out of Texas. Or Nofield. I don't know. We're probably going to say new. He has 92 kick power. 87 kick accuracy. 73 speed. Not bad. Not terrible. Question, though. And he won't wear number 11. We're going to change that right now. To, uh... We're going to give him... We're going to give him number one. What's, what's that arm strength looking like? What is that arm strength? 25. All right. He's not exactly the quarterbacking type. But, yeah, he is better than Riley Dixon. In terms of like kick power, which is what I care about. So we go over the class. Uh, we did very well overall, I would say. A lot of good value. Started off hot with four really good picks. Uh, the top three, we'll have two starters for sure. Julius Manning will start at free safety. Espinoza will start at middle linebacker, probably. He's got great speed. He's a really good player. We're going to figure everything out. We haven't decided yet. Obviously, we just got done with that. Let's see the rest of the draft. Because we it didn't look like we got the best player in the draft. Uh, at only an 80 overall. So let's see what else was there. Hmm. Interesting. So the highest overall player in the entire draft was only an 81. 
opposed to last time we had an 85. So that was uh that was pretty weird. Harlan Bennett or Harlos was the number one pick. Is this is this done by overall? It's not. Okay, let's sort by overall. I thought he was doing it by overall. So it's gonna be the Jets got the two top in the entire draft. Are you kidding me? How does that happen? Russell Linder. I don't remember seeing him. 88 speed. 85 spin move. 88 carry. He's not, I don't know. He's not that good, honestly. How is he an 83? How is this an 83 overall? He's not that good. I, I'm, I'm going to say it. He's not. So that's kind of weird. Um, but um, let's see, we got we got an eighty overall. So Alexander Espinoza was pretty good. Lawrence Thomas was ranked right behind him. So those were the seven and eight ranked players in the draft. Not bad, and we took them at a pretty much the respective spots. What else did we get? We got a seventy nine. I'm going to just go back to, there's nothing crazy in the entire NFL, which is a little bit shocking that there's nothing like super high. But we got Julius Manning. Julius Manning could be an absolute beast. We just need that zone coverage to come along. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the uh, the depth chart would look. We are going to advance to um, the preseason, though. Or we can adjust roster. I, it doesn't really matter right now. So let's go ahead and simulate to the preseason. Let's advance the week. Oh, you want me to look at... Q QB doesn't... There were no good QBs. It would have been even a decent overall. So, nothing better than what we had with Kyle. Is Nails here? You're going to rookie right guard. 74 overall. Not terrible. Okay, is Nails here? He is. Brian Nail. It was Brian. I thought his name was fucking DeAndre. He's Brian. He's still bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll sign him. Brian Nails, welcome back. Great to have you. Who is it? EJ Gaines is here. Vernon Hargraves didn't sign. Interesting. Matt Breida's here. He's having an electric year in the actual NFL. Interesting. So, um, hmm. Let's see. What do we want to do? Gardner's going to start. Pwn Gardner. Why Will Hernandez is not gonna play right guard, dude? That would that's not how we're gonna do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's figure this out. What do we want? Good offense and defense. So I would never work. Antoine Todd's a 79 overall. BJ Goodson is going to move over to left outside linebacker. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move him to left outside. We're 93. I still don't really like it. Because we're, we're playing in a 4-3 right now. And that's just kind of what the best scheme fit is. Um, BJ Goodson goes up to an 84. Lorenzo Carter stays where he is. We have uh, Alexander Espinoza, the rookie, is going to start. We have Antoine Todd backing him up. Lana Collins. Tyrus Charlton. We have no real need for Obi Melifonwu at this point. And Janoris Jenkins is down to an 84 overall. I'm going to add Janoris Jenkins to the trade block. Olivier Vernon has regressed a little bit, I think. Oh, he, did he not? He, oh, just, it's confidence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to field offers. We're just going to see. It's preseason. We might as well. We'll see what's going on. Damon Harrison is down to an 88. He certainly regressed. Yeah, he did Block shed, minus three. Awareness, minus five. Tackle, minus five. Come on, Damon. What are you doing? 
We're gonna we're just gonna field offers. We're gonna field offers for a quarterback or for not a quarterback for a uh, it, for our players. It doesn't mean we're gonna trade them. Obi Melifon will be added to the trade block. Offensively, we're still looking for that tackle, man. We didn't really address that. We didn't really address that. I want to go back to the Saints. They need a center, a right end, a right outside linebacker. They need a strong safety. Would they want Obi Melifanwu? They might. If we made Obi Melifanwu a strong safety, there might be significant interest there from the Saints. That might not be a terrible look to us or for us. Because Obi, we just don't need him. And also, he wasn't good. <laughs> How many times did you guys see Obi Melifanwu over the course of the entire season make a play? Once? Twice maybe at the most? He was just disappointing. And he was just he was a placeholder. We got some good picks though. So we could see we could work with this. We could work with it. Ryan Ramchek would fit the scheme. Please want Obi. Please want Obi. Oh they do. New donation. Joe Gusty again. Uh, I'm, I, I feel like donating to get a player named after you. Um, I, I don't want to have people just like donate money to just get in the thing. I feel like it's kind of awkward, so I'm not going to... I don't think it's fair to do that. Sorry. obi Melifonwu. There's not a lot of interest there. Um, what if I added Antoine Todd? They don't like him. What do you mean? How do you not like Antoine Todd? You hardly even know him. Right end. We do have some players here. There's interest in Terrell Basham. That's getting closer. We're going to be able to acquire Ryan Ramchak, 100%. Let's do a future four. It's gonna have to be a higher pick. Fuck that. It, we're gonna go. We're gonna go current too. So we are giving up some value here. That second round pick and some good players to fill the needs for the Saints. But Obi Melifonwu, Terrell Basham, and a second round pick for Ryan Ramchek. He will be a new starting right tackle. And that should that should solidify the offensive line. It's still not incredible, but we do have a lot of pieces that fit. I like all the scheme fits for us. I like that. Uh, Logan Robeson is the only non-scheme fit player on our entire offensive line. Saquon Barkley doesn't fit the scheme, but he doesn't need to. The reason I'm in vertical power run is because it impacts the most players. Even though it's only 66% scheme fit, it's impacting non-starters to say that. I don't care about the backups, right? So that's that. say anything special for this uh players within three overall points all right we're fine we're fine and Saquon Barkley might even be within three points of power back he might be yeah I mean it's uh it's within four so not quite defensively we didn't we haven't lost much I'm gonna, we're going to field offers for Damon Harrison. I don't see him being traded. Janoris Jenkins could be traded for sure. I like Nat DeGear. Nat DeGear, there was talk about him moving to free safety for us. But I think we have a better free safety there now. What else could we do? I am going to go back to Khalil Mack just to look at it. his cap should be solidified now yeah it is so we could potentially trade for him oh man 
if we were to trade BJ Goodson, there's in, there's interest there. If we were to trade BJ Goodson, a first round pick, where would that leave us? Not that far along. Especially when we have Olivier Vernon. I'm not... I love Khalil Mack. I'm not... Even with a second, it probably wouldn't go through. I'm not sure this would be worth it. Or well, it would be worth it. I'm not sure we'd be able to. So, Khalil Mack is effectively off the table. A lot of people are not pro Kyle Aletta. We will check out quarterbacks from around the league. No... <laughs> Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, Kyle Lallette is not terrible. He, he did miss some big-time throws, which sucked. But, uh, Baker Mayfield we won't be able to acquire. Feloy Earl was in the draft class. He's a 77. Probably not better than Kyle. I don't really care about overall. Houston Rollins. Was he in last year's class or was he in this year's class? Oh, he had to have been in last year's. So, Pat Mahomes is the backup quarterback. They need a corner. Interesting. He's only an 80 overall in this, but give us a little bit to work with. With him being the backup quarterback and all. They need a corner. How do you feel about Janoris Jenkins? You like it. I just want to... Okay, let's let's start off easy. Because they might still consider him the starter. So he might be pretty hard to trade for. We can't, we can't trade Joris Jenkins because they don't have the cap room to, to acquire his hit. We, we probably can't get him. We just probably can't. It's just not... It doesn't... We won't be able to right now with the cap situation. And it looks like they consider Pat Mahomes to be the starter. Which means that Houston Rollins might be easier to trade for. They might just value them both equally. They do. Hmm. Interesting. Quarterback is off the table for right now. Yeah, it's hot in here. Hold on. Ugh. I know I'm wearing an Adrian Peterson jersey. Just pretend it's like a Giants, or not jersey, but a shirt. Pretend it's a Giants shirt, because we're doing Giants franchise. Just do that. Dude, I swear my headset always makes my hair so weird. Okay. Alrighty. Also, what I'd like to do is implement new sliders. That likely will not cool down the temperature in here because it is blazing. Someone linked sliders, I think, in my comment section. Hold on. I'd like to try something out. Because what we have going right now, I'm not a huge fan of. I almost just want to go like a completely different direction. Okay, so. Um... Sorry, guys. I'm just reading something. Hmm. I like Big Hit. The guy doesn't... He's like... Uh, he says the first priority is to get tackled. I'll show you guys. Well, might as well. It's probably weird to see otherwise. Um, I love sliders because they present the game. Blah, 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 blah. Make the game your own. 
He has a YouTube channel. Shout out to him. Whatever it is. First priority is to get tackling on point. Currently, the game is not a very forceful and perfect tackling mechanic. I'm not trying to get rid of this by any means, but I'm wanting to see more wrap-up tackling than WWE hits. I, I like WWE hits, man. Second priority is to establish the CPU run game a bit more. I think there is a combination in there that can make this happen. It is not without its compensations. I have detailed the reason for the changes in each slider value listed. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to test them out. I mean, we got preseason. So, that's what we're going with right now. He plays nine minutes. We're going to stay to 11 because I think that's just better. Fatigue is 49. So, why, I don't know why he would start with that. We'll go down one to 49. Injuries, he has a 13. We had 12 earlier. We'll go 14. We'll see how that goes. Actually, we'll keep 13. I mean, we're going to trust him. Um, He has minimum speed threshold at 30. That's not what that is. Okay. Because the title update, as I said, ruined everything. I don't really care for penalties too much. He is 49-49. So we'll turn down their quarterback accuracy. We'll go 49-49. Pass blocking, 48-35. That's a rip. So as I said, the update changed a lot of stuff. It made, it made these sliders not play well. I think 35 is going to be too high. I really do. We'll take it over the course of the season to get what we want. Wide receiver catch, 45-45. Turn that down. Run blocking 50 to 55. This is going to be interesting because Saquon Barkley was almost neutralized in the playoffs. I know we had 83 for them, by the way, for the CPU. Another hottie donation. Wow. Oh. Okay, so if you guys didn't read that, uh, I appreciate the donation, by the way, from Joe. Sorry I couldn't get you in the game. Uh, and he says, yeah, we need a player that we can yell at during the game. Here's the thing. I don't want to have bad players, you know? <laughs> I want my players to play well. So if there's a player who doesn't perform well, I will yell at them, clearly. But I don't want them to play bad. Fumbles, 48-48. All right. Well, there's no, there's only one fumble. Uh, that we've seen over the course of the entire season. Now we got to raise it. Pass defense reaction time, 40-40. Apparently, when you turn it up, it makes it play worse. That's what people are telling me in my comment section. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. All right, doesn't matter. We'll go back to it later. It's 40-40. Interceptions. I like more interceptions, so I'm going to leave interceptions not at 40. And we're going to go to 69. Nice. Pass coverage is 42-42. It says, like, good, good, happy medium with 42. So we'll play 42. We'll see how that plays. Tackling is 38-38. Interesting. Um, field goal. I don't really care to fix any of his special teams, whatever. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this plays. It's really the only thing we can do. We'll also get a lot of opportunity to see some of these rookies play. Um, all right. So, those are the new sliders for now. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to see Carlos Kershaw. Howard Russell, he's going to get a lot more action this year, I think. If you guys remember how sick Dante Buchanan was, I do love my drafted rookie receivers in 49ers franchise. 
I, I get that a lot of you who are here now wouldn't have even seen that series, but it was an interesting one for sure. It was interesting. We're going to see DeMar Jacobs as a tight end for the first time. We're going to see Pone Gardner and Ryan Ramchek debut. Um, of course, Nails will get action, I'm sure. We'll QB to him. As far as defense goes, you're going to see the rookie Alexander Espinosa. You're going to see the rookie uh, Julius Manning. You're going to see new New York Giant Jalen Mills. You're going to see the rookie debut of Lawrence Thomas. Oh my goodness. How did no one connect the dots on this? The new LT. Could be a storyline we work with. Uh, before we play, let's customize the players a bit. Ninety-seven. I don't mind ninety-seven. He's not gonna wear four. It seems like ninety-seven is the only option. He's gonna wear ninety-seven. He's gonna wear ninety-seven. Also, yeah, the chat's giving up on Kyle Aletta too early. Let him develop. Fall back. Is there anyone who's decently fast? Alex Arma. Marquez Williams. Aaron Ripkowski. He fits the scheme. He's not that slow. I want someone who can run block. Marquez Williams. 80 lead block. 81 speed. Marquez Williams, you have a job. You are the newest New York Giant. Resub didn't show up. Refresh and hit share. I appreciate the resub anyway, Yankees. But maybe try refreshing. Hold on. Did I see someone name was Curry Curry? That's worth looking back. Oh, Curry Cherry. I am less of a fan of the name. He also is pretty bad. So, no. Hello, Jack. Defensively, let's look at Julius. Did we draft anyone offensively? Lyman doesn't really matter. Julius Manning. What number is he wearing right now? 40. No. No. Could wear 32. 29. We're going to give him 29. 5'11". He, he's R. Earl Thomas. Can I zoom in, dude? Can I get a shot of the helmet? Dude, I feel like it's glitching out. It, why can't we see it? There we go. Yankee Stadium says, most underrated streamer. Believe in Kyle, guys. Hey, yeah. Well, fun. I appreciate the resub. Don't, don't sell it on Kyle too early, you know? He, he could do it. I can't see what I'm doing here. Has this always been a thing? Doesn't it usually zoom in? Doesn't it usually zoom in on the face when you go to change it? Like, am I, am I crazy here? I could have sworn that it did. No? Dude. There's no way it doesn't. I, I know that it does. I've seen it. Not anymore? Dude, I, I swear to God. Hold on. Let's do a little experiment then. Let's go to my... Uh, let's go to my off-season video last year.
good linebacker for us 86 tackle 84 hit power 78 speed 87 excel 83 block shed 65 zone cover pretty good do we have yeah. editing the players in here i need to sign players really badly because odell should not be in the game right now let's stop talking please He will play free safety. Also, I do want to change numbers. Where he cuts? Why do you? Have hmm. Oh, Panthers got Tavares. Yeah. New donation from Random Dude Face. Is there a world where we trade Jack Rabbit and sign that ADO VR corner out of FA? Uh. Yeah, dude. There probably is. <laughs> probably is a world. Dude, I could have sworn. It, it's irrelevant at this point. All right, so we'll close out. I could, I honestly, I, I thought, I thought 100% that it zoomed in. Creators FM video, I thought about that. All right. All right, la last check. Because then I'm, I'm losing people, probably an in interest with this. Um, yeah. Andrew looks gone. Can't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew looks gone. Right. Hold on here. Reach is only in your mind. It, it never zoomed in. Also, if you guys don't watch this series, you're probably very confused as to what's happening. Probably not. The helmet that lets me get a visor on there with the one bar, and we're gonna rock it. It didn't. How is it? Why would it be so far away? I hate that. EA, fix please. Fix please. All right. Because I, then I can't see what the, I, I can't see what it looks like. You know. I hate that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna rock with it anyway. It doesn't really matter. It was just for my sanity there, which is apparently going out the window. He will be wearing a shooter sleeve. I think blue looks the best. Maybe blue looks pretty good. Red also looks cool. I think I like blue the best. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Blue or red? Let me know down in the chat. In the meantime, I wish there was tape in the game. Do we want anything on the right side? Most people are saying blue, it looks like. We're not doing right. Or did I say right? White. We're just gonna go nothing on that side. We might do something on the on the wrist. Of both. Like a blue tape. Is that an option? Is there no, like, tape gloves? Oh, there we go. I think we're going to go black. Yeah, we're going to go black. All right. Heavy black tape glove on both. I like that. I like clean. We'll change the color of the gloves. I like the blue. I like the blue theme. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with that. I think that looks pretty good. Manning. The newest Manning in New York. Shout out to Julius. I said the helmet's ugly. What's going on with the helmet? Uh, 
Um, check it out again. We'll check it out. Yeah, why'd you, uh... I missed it. Why'd you ban Khalif, Schmitzy? Gotta figure that one out. Alright. <laughs> Julius Manning. We got D... <laughs> D Batman 67. Gifts a sub to Kyle Laletta. Welcome. I don't have a problem with the helmet. I don't have a problem at all. It was Revo Speed? Yeah. It's a good helmet. Alright, alright, Schmizzy. Your call. I, I'm not gonna question it. Let's look at Alexander Espinoza. What does he look like? What number are you wearing? 52? I'm so down for 52. What's the helmet you're wearing? I don't love the helmet. I don't like the speed flex. He is, however, going to wear heavy face mat or heavy face paint. I'm a big fan of that. I think that's pretty good. 52 is like that's the best linebacker number. That's he's he's already in the Hall of Fame. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> nah, this is not that series. Um, it's got to be. It got to be Riddle or Rydell. I think the speed is just the best looking helmet. This is a weird looking face mask. I don't like that very much. Two bar, three bar. Three bar linebacker. There we go. Dumb Kim! ATH, aka Dumb Kim. Four months in a row with the tier one. Welcome back, Dumb Kim. I love you. There we go. Alright, that's all we're gonna do on Alexander Espinoza. Also, that's a mouthful, by the way. I think why why would it take me back to Kyle Aletta? I think Alexander Espinoza is a mouthful, so we're gonna call him Alex. You want, a, you want a heavy face mask? I don't really like that for linebackers. Like stand-up linebackers. We could. You're Alex now. Because I know Ray Lewis wore a huge cage. Let's just see how it would look. That looks oh, terrible. Yeah. That's an interesting cage. Sign S C H R E K from the Bengals, please. He was such a legend. Sign Shrek. We have to I don't know, we have tight ends. I don't I don't want Giants franchise to be a uh Oh there we go. Alright, you know what? We'll go with that. The cage. Yeah, alright. Fine. Um like this the creator CFM that I am now out of, by the way was supposed to be like the fun like gimmick league this is like i want the, i want this one to be somewhat legit well well i mean if i don't want to go out of my way to acquire a player that just doesn't make any sense but i do appreciate the donation dude lawrence thomas how big are you he looks like 6'9 6'6 <laughs> 295 he's a pretty good player dude he is Interesting. We're gonna give him a visor. I think. A little bit dark. And we're gonna raid the, raise the pad height. That actually looks pretty bad. We're not gonna do any of this any of the sort. Um that's pretty much all we're gonna do on Thomas. I like it. He's huge, by the way. <laughs> like I can't get over that size. How do I pronounce syrup? Like that. I don't say syrup. Would you say Surya for the country? Let's be real here. All right, time to play. We'll play the full game. Why not? Who do we want here? 
Good throw to a running back over the top. Let's just see if anything... We might have a free play. There's not even a chance. What do you mean? It's holding. See, okay. Here's the thing. Eli Apple was not in position to make that play at all. There's no way he should have been able to intercept that. He, he like he can we go to replay mode right now and we see that play? Okay, yeah, let's watch Eli Apple make the interception. Eli Apple is beat by some random fucking receiver. He is beat. The ball's in the air. He's beat. He's beat. He's beat. He's beat. The ball's got to be super underthrown, right? Does Kyle Law let him make this throw? Because Eli Apple is not in position to make this play. He is torched. All right? He's trash. Eli Apple's terrible. All right, big third down, make the stop. There's no reason to even be in this game, dude. Let's bring some starters out. We actually do. That's a pick. Tyrus Charlton. The rookie safety taken in the fourth round, maybe. Not bad. All right. This is the last fucking straw. <laughs> Where's Eli Apple? I want to isolate Eli Apple. Nails going deep to DeMar Jacobs. Can't haul it in. God dang, dude. You want me to block? This is the situation you're giving me? Just watch the field goal? Wow. Great moment. All right. If Eli Apple's like an 84 overall, I would consider it. If he's like an 84... Which he won't be. He'll be like an 80. Maybe an 81. Because I will repeat. He's not good. Let's see. What is Eli Apple's overall? Might have like 80 skill points. After he has a career worth of interceptions in one preseason game. Oh, he's a safety now. He's a 76 overall. 70 zone. 76 man. How did you do this? Oh, yeah. He had 2020. Why are Maybe they listening? Maybe a 50 bomb will change your mind about changing Dimar to Shrek. Jesus also, Christ, can you DM Joe. me on Discord after the stream? My name is a disappointed Minnesota sports fan on Earth server. All right. I'll see what's up. Uh, appreciate the 50 bomb from Joe Gusty. Let's see some hype in the chat if you're a sub. We'll, uh, we'll look into Shrek. Uh, f the 50 bomb is, is a lot. We'll, we'll see what Shrek's up to if he's on the Bengals. I would not change DeMar Jacobs, though. There he is. Mason Shrek. <sighs> he's, he's very bad. <laughs> what would we do here? How about a future seven? Oh my! I'm not giving up too much for this. He's bad. He's so terrible. Take Brian Nails off my hands. 
All right, Brian nails for Mason Shrek. Get one one meme in exchange for the other. All right. So, some things I noticed with the sliders. Um, we didn't run the ball at all, so it's hard to see what that would be. Pass blocking at 48 is terrible. I'll tell you why. We had on the Dolphins, third and fourth string players getting a lot of pressure with four-man rushes against my starting offensive line, which is good. I'm going to bump it up by 10 to a 58. We'll see how that plays. But guys, that's going to do it for the stream. Quick off-season recap. We drafted Pone Gardner in the fourth, maybe. We drafted Clayton, not Clayton, Carlos Kershaw in the second to be back at running back. Alexander, or Alex Espinoza, was a top 10 pick we traded up to get. We also drafted Lawrence Thomas in the top 10. We signed Jalen Mills. We drafted Julius Manning. And um, will we get trade offers here? Helmet, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. We have trade offers for all three of these guys. I'll review them. Justin M237 with the tier one sub. Three months in a row. Appreciate you, Justin. Uh, pretty bad off. We Oh, that's a future first. That's interesting. For Damon Harrison in there. Janoris Jenkins. What would, what would we be able to get for him? Pretty much garbage. I'd be better off doing something manual. And then Olivier Vernon. This would be where the best offer should be. You got a one in there. Future from the Steelers. You're really looking to give that pick up. I don't really like any of those. I'm not, I'm not trying to trade Damon Harrison. Like, he's pretty damn good. So, we're going to keep Lawrence Thomas as the backup situational pass rusher for now. That reminds me, by the way. Um... I want to change sliders again. And I, I want to change fatigue. Actually, I don't want to change fatigue. I want to change substitutions. Not formation subs. I want to do auto subs. Did I already do the draft? We've been out here for two hours, man. <laughs> yes. Um... I'll do this off stream. I'll find some good ones and we'll put them in uh, and I'll just rock out with whatever those have. So we'll see some more rotation from some, some players, but guys, other than that, oh yeah, the helmet. What was the helmet that he asked for? Shit. Like Zenith something. What was the helmet? Zenith X2E. Predator. Full cage, maybe? Did he say full cage? He said predator. That looks so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to lie here. This looks terrible. I can't be the only one that hates that. I don't mind the full cage. The predator looks just like the worst. He looks like a little bug. I hate that. Uh, the prism's way worse. <laughs> I hate. No, I hate. I don't. This is a Fletcher Cox helmet. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan. We're gonna go with. Uh, what is the 808? I, I hate that. Um, full cage, full cage two, full cage hook. I don't like the hook. Cage, grid, grid looks pretty sick. We're gonna go Revo Speed Grid. All right, that is it. That's gonna do it for the stream, guys. Definitely, please check out my links to my main channel, Twitter, second and third. If you guys haven't watched, just like. If you have time, check it out. I think you might enjoy it. 
um if you like watching me for madden and stuff like that if you think you know whatever i would appreciate if you were to uh to do that but other than that guys we're gonna go ahead and raid clutch silver he's a good kid i don't someone got to change that command i don't play fortnite anymore change i don't like that command but uh uh, we're gonna raid clutch silver if you guys could show show him some love um he's a good kid and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching successful off season that's gonna do it for me guys uh take it easy see you in the next one whatever i say Get down!